Hi Archers! Today we'll be having a look at our Archer hero Meowjik. Right off the bat, I can tell you Meowjik is definitely the cutest character in the game and in this video, I'll be guiding you through the best abilities and items, pros and cons, best and strongest weapon, as well as a quick overview of his general damage or specifically for Meowjik and conclude if he's worth 1,800 gems. I do already have a video of Meowjik release with more specific damage numbers in comparison to Helix. I will leave that in the description box below if you're interested. My name is Teeds and I make many Archer videos from guides, tealers, gameplays and more. Please do subscribe and click the bell for more Archer content. Let me preface this by saying that this is all based on my experience, research and opinion. In the end, you may or may not agree with me. It's up to you to decide which hero is the best for your personal playstyle and taste. All heroes are great in their own way, with abilities that are useful for different situations. With that, let's begin with Meowjik. First, everything you need to know about Meowjik. Meowjik costs 1800 gems. This makes Meowjik a free hero, meaning you don't have to spend real money on Meowjik. Meowjik's special ability Meow Spirit is unique and is not based off any other ability in Archero. Similar to the Sword Strike abilities, but it is not based on it. Meowjik has a chance of summoning an auto-attacking kitty when attacking enemies. These kitties are like homing missiles. They will try their best to follow the target, sometimes it can miss. The cats focus on one target, and if it hits that target, it will disperse. If there's no target or there are monsters in the way to the target, it can deal damage to all monsters in its path and not disperse. From my research and calculations, it roughly has a 33% chance of spawning, which would mean it's 1 in 3 attacks. What I found is that Meow Spirit is not based off attacks on enemies, rather it's based off attacks that you throw. So the more attacks you throw, even if it's just hitting a wall, the higher the chance of spawning a spirit. Meow Spirit is based off base damage, including the weapon's modifier. So for example, the Death Scythe has the highest weapon modifier, meaning the cats would deal more damage. Meow Spirit deals your current damage multiplied by 2.95 or increased by 295%, which is nearly triple the damage of your current damage value. Meowjik's cats act like another basic attack or another arrow. Meowjik's universal stat grants plus 50 attack and 4% attack to all heroes at level 20 and level 60. Meowjik's personal stats grant 5% dodge and increase healing effect at level 40 and 60. Now let's have a quick overview of Meowjik's damage. His calculations are very simple. Here's an example of his damage. If the base damage was 1000, this is how much damage I would deal per cat without crits with each weapon. With the bow and staff, 2950. With the sword blade and tornado, 2360. With the spear, 3540. With the death scythe, 4277. Remember, cats spawn roughly 33%, which is average 1 out of 3 per attack. Damage is your current weapon's damage multiplied by 2.95, roughly 3 times the damage. If you would like more specific calculations about Meowjik with damage comparisons to Helix, I have another video I made with more in-depth calculations, but if you're just here to learn Meowjik and you already know he's very strong, this information will be what's necessary. Next, the best abilities for Meowjik. If you've seen my previous video of Meowjik vs Helix, you would know that I have yet to calculate and test Meowjik with different abilities. After many tests, I have figured out what works best for Meowjik. I was wrong about an ability or abilities from the same family, however this does not change anything from my research, Meowjik is still stronger than Helix in my opinion. I am not going to include all the numbers with these abilities as it's pretty straightforward and I tested out so many abilities that it would just make this video extremely long and maybe a little boring. So here's what I found with the relevant abilities. The cats do not apply any elemental effects. The cat's damage does decrease with multi-shot just as arrows damage decrease. However, the extra arrow does seem to increase Meowjik's cats. Attack boosts increase the cat's damage. Attack speed items increase the cat's spawn rate. Front arrow decreases the damage, but does not seem to increase the cat's. This one I am still testing. It does still benefit Meowjik's damage in general, so I would not see a clear away from this high tier ability. Crit boosts do apply to the cat's. The cat's crit damage will be almost triple the crit damage of your current crit value. So for example, I was using the level 40 staff, 
and I dealt 4,647 crit on an enemy. And then my cat also dealt a crit on the next shot, and they dealt 13,708 damage. It was pretty crazy. And now the ability that I was incorrect about is the diagonal arrows, rear arrows, and you know, just from the multiple arrow family. From my research, the cats do not spawn in multiple directions, and I thought they did. They will always only spawn on the target that your character is focusing on. But I did some further testing and it seems that the extra arrows contribute to increasing the cat spawn rate. So the more arrows, the higher the spawn. Here is a small sample of what I'm talking about. In this footage, I fired 37 attacks and 24 of those spawned cats. Only from this small sample, it's almost double the chance. But don't think that it was just this one time thing. I tried this multiple times with different combinations. It's not the exact rate, but depending on what your abilities are, it's likely that the extra arrows play a role in spawn rate, which means Meowgic benefits from the extra arrows. And the last ability that I have to touch on is Rage. Rage is still glitched for Meowgic in the game, so I wasn't able to test it out with Rage. Meowgic would be even stronger, even if it didn't apply to the cats. I'm thinking that rage may apply to the cats, just maybe, just because the cats do work with attack boost, create multi-shot, etc. But we'll see when it gets fixed. The end result is that Meowgic would be very strong with or without rage working on the cats. Next, the best items for Meowgic. I'm a huge advocate for play what you love to use the most, but in my opinion, Meowgic works best with full dodge build, so Vessel Dexterity, two Serpent Rings, and Agile Locket. I am currently studying on how dodge works, I do believe that dodge is an extremely powerful stat though, but all in all, use what you love most. With weapons, as I said earlier, the more arrows you produce, the higher the spawn, but this does not mean you should use the fastest weapon which would be the saw blade. Again, use what you love, but in my opinion, Meowgic pairs up very well with spear and staff. Something you should consider as well is that Meowgic's cats do apply some of the epic effects of the weapon. Spear increases the damage when you attack the same target type. This is the same for Meowgic's cats. The cat's damage will also increase as long as your spear's damage increases. The staff increases crit chance, the lower the target's HP. I found that Meowgic's cats hit a crit more often with the staff, and not only that, because the sass projectiles also follow the target, I find this works very well with the cats. Plus, naturally, the staff's current meta build is to build a lot of arrows, which works in line with Meowgic's cats. As for the other weapons, I tested the bow with Meowgic and I did not crit at all with my cats. I'm not sure if it's a glitch, I did multiple runs and I got no crits at all. That's something to keep in mind, but if it did work, Meowgic should produce triple the crit damage. The death size epic stat is that you have a high chance of headshotting an enemy with 30% or lower HP, I believe. I found out that the cats also headshot as well. They also apply the death size epic stat. This leads me to believe that it also works with the headshot ability. The tornado doesn't seem to have any effect with the cat and the saw blade has very little effect with the cat. Unfortunately, because Meowgic doesn't work with the epic stats of the Tornado and the Saw Blade, I think that Meowgic doesn't work the best with these weapons. I was very surprised when I found out that the cats applied the epic effects of the weapon. That makes Meowgic even stronger and I didn't even think that was possible. And last but not least, the pros and cons. The pros of Meowgic has positive interactions with a lot of the high to mid tier abilities. Special ability is extremely strong. The 5% dodge is a high tier stat. Cats go through wars and can deal damage to other targets in its path. Cats apply epic weapon effects. Cats follow the target. Compared to Helix, Meowgic's ability kicks in right away. Extremely strong against bosses. You can hide behind a wall and fire attacks, but the cats will have no target. You just have to try and stand in the right position for the cats to hit. The cons. Cats can miss. Cat's crit chance seems to be pretty low. There are a few glitches with the cats already. Sometimes they do not spawn if you're at the edge of the map. And unfortunately, I think Meowgic does have quite a few glitches. 
At the time that this video was made, Rage does not work with Meowjik. Meowjik is not good for farming easy chapters and just not really good for farming in general. The reason for this is because if you deal a lot of damage to the enemies already, majority of the time you will kill the mob before your cat even reaches. Because of this, I find Meowjik a lot better for pushing chapters or for chapters you struggle on because the cats will help out a lot. And that is all for the Meowjik guide. I would say Meowjik is definitely worth the 1800 gems. I believe Meowjik is stronger than Helix for those who are asking, especially since Meowjik's damage output overall should be high at the end of a run. That is all for today's video. I thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and click the bell for more archery content. I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye!